Hey, it's Janelle from Inspiring Wit. In this video, I've teamed up with Faye from her on Oxford to share three hairstyles with waves. A wavy hair look, a half up look, and a ponytail. We wanted to make sure we created a useful tutorial so you can see how they create these signature waves. Now I'm gonna hand over to Faye so she can take you through how to create the looks. Thanks, Janelle. So I am currently drying Janelle's hair to make sure that we are beach wave ready. I'm going to take a horizontal section from the front to the back and I have isolated the back of the hair. I'm taking a medium sized tongue, I'm placing the hair into the tongue and I'm slowly going to wrap the hair away from the face until the extra hair is facing outwards. Keeping the tongue vertical, I'm going to slide the tongue down the hair and wrapping away to create that extra twisty feel. I make sure I move slowly to make sure that the heat is evenly distributed through the hair. As I get towards the ends, I slowly slide the hair off the tongue to create a straight feel. Moving on to the front, I take a diagonal section on either side to create a triangular shape. Isolating it away and keeping your sections clean, I'm gonna spray a little bit of heat protectant to protect the hair and I'm going to continue that technique by holding the tongue vertical, opening the clamp and wrapping the hair away from the face. Keeping hold of that extra hair, I'm going to slide the hair downwards and my first twist is going to sit on Janelle's cheekbone to create an uplifting feel. And again, I let the hair slide off the ends to make sure that they don't go too curly. I move on to my next section, keeping my tongue really nice and vertical, slowly moving the hair through the tongue to evenly distribute the heat. I've sprayed them with a little bit of hairspray, allowed them to cool before dressing them out with a wide tooth comb. This is going to ensure that it stays more beachy in textured rather than smoothed and dressed out. And there you go. I've popped a little bit of serum on the ends to make sure that she's frizz free and this is our finished result. On to our next look. This look is super simple, super easy and a perfect transition from day to night. I split the hair into half, starting from the ear and working my way around to the other ear. Loosening my sections around the ear for a more draped feel, I'm gonna gather the hair into a lackey and secure into a ponytail. Once it feels fully secured, I'm going to make sure that my sides look nice and soft and bohemian by loosening them out a little bit. Taking the ponytail, I'm gonna spritz a little bit of texture spray as it makes it nice and pliable to work with. And I split the section in two to create some simple knots down the hair. Tie the knots just like you would do with a shoelace and keep going until you run out of hair. Keeping the sections really nice and loose, I'm going to start fanning the hair out to make sure that I get that really nice volume in my top knot. Once I'm happy with the width of my section, I'm then going to wrap the hair around to create that bun knotted feel. Once I'm happy with the positioning, I'm going to get some simple bobby pins and I'm going to secure the hair by making sure that the bumpy side sits along the scalp, securing the knot into the base of the head. Make sure you apply enough bobby pins to ensure that everything feels secure. Once you're happy with the positioning, play around with it to add a little bit more texture and finish with a texture spray. And that's the finished look. Super easy and super simple. Now on to our third and final look. The low, loose bun. This is perfect for third day hair where you really don't want those waves to go to waste. 
I'm going to gather the hair into a loose ponytail and make sure that my sides are draped over the ears for a really undone, effortless feel. Once I'm happy with my sectioning, I'm going to secure with a lackey. Before I pull the hair all the way through to create a ponytail, I'm going to stop halfway, leaving half of the ponytail out to create a really loose bun. I pull a few bits out just to make sure that everything looks really loose and effortless. I finish off this look by getting an oversized, bunched up scrunchie and wrapping it simply around the bun. And there you have three beautiful looks with waves. I love these romantic styles. Let us know if you've enjoyed this video and if you'd like to see more and what you'd like to see next. Thank you so much, Faye, for creating these with me. I can't wait to work together again soon.